Hey gamers, I am John, host of Video Games in the World, and today we will talk about video games and religion. Religion can be a very soft and touchy subject these days, but video games have made lots of references to religion since their creation, such as references to Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Taoism, Wicca, and how most of the time video games can criticize religions, just like various journalists, scientists, bloggers, you know. Years ago, before I created Video Games in the World, I remember stumbling about upon a video by the game theorist called Why Final Fantasy is Anti-Religion, as well as their other videos talking about religious references in games such as Chrono Trigger, Illusion of Gaia, Legend of Zelda, and many more, which inspired me to do this. Now, for the record, this is a, a remake, and I might include certain other video games more than I did last time. I might also add that even Assassin's Creed's criticism of religion message can be part of how video games can be critical of such things, while some games have a no very neutral view on it. Now, as a non-denominational myself, video games being critical of religion doesn't bother me at all. Because now, for the record, I believe in God and in Jesus Christ. And it's not about religion, but a relationship. I'm a gamer and I love playing video games. But of course, some video games tend to piss a lot of Christians off that they protested against them. But enough of that. It's time to start our episode. Enjoy! What is religion? The answer to that question is varied in different ways. Religion is a cultural system of behaviors and practices, worldviews, sacred texts, holy places, ethics, and societal organizations that relate humanity to what an anthropologist has called an order of existence. There are various religions that worship a deity, be it from the Holy Bible, the Quran, or the Tripitaka, as well as the Torah and Kabbalah. Different religions may or may not contain various elements ranging from the divine, sacred things, faith, a supernatural being or supernatural beings, or some sort of ultimacy and transcendence that will provide norms and power for the rest of life. Religious practices may include rituals, sermons, commemoration or veneration of deities, sacrifices, festivals, feasts, trances, initiations, funerary services, matrimonial services, meditation, prayer, music, art, dance, public service, and other aspects of human culture. Religions have sacred histories and narratives such as Adam and Eve, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, the parting of the Red Sea, the crucifixion of Christ, Muhammad's flight from Mecca, and many more. However, religion, despite being beneficial to many people, it has received lots of criticism to, due to events like the Crusades, the Catholic-Protestant Wars, and also on how the Roman Catholic Church and the Inquisition control the sciences and the arts. In modern times, religion has received criticism from scientists, journalists, philosophers, and outspoken atheists such as Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris, Dan Dennett, and also the late Christopher Hitchens. There were also various skeptics who criticized religion, such as Bertrand Russell, Albert Camus, Ayn Rand, Stephen Hawking, Lawrence Krauss, and many more. Many believe in God, or in the case of deists, a God without having to be religious. Others say that they believe in a higher power, and not religion. Why the criticisms of religion? Simple, because of many verses found in the scriptures of the Bible and the Quran. Many will criticize the Bible for passages such as Leviticus 20.13 and many more. In history, humanity has killed and robbed lands in the name of God or Allah. Critics like Hector Avalos, Regina Schwartz, Christopher Hitchens, and Richard Dawkins have argued that religions are inherently violent and harm to society by using violence to promote their goals in ways that are endorsed and exploited by their leaders. 
Some famous atheists, like Pendulette, has said such things that religion has been detrimental and harmful to the advancement of the human race. Most of it anti-science. Many people use religion to justify prejudice against LGBTQ people, bombing of abortion clinics, striking women, and trying to impact on legislations as well, which is very, very bad. However, the problem with religion being bad is when many people who practice these religions twist it for their own fanatical needs, and no good ever comes from fanaticism, be it of religion or any other cause at all. The relationship between video games and religion is multifaceted. There are so many concepts and elements of contemporary and ancient religions that appear in many video games such as the Mass Effect series, Final Fantasy, Lufia, Illusion of Gaia, The Legend of Zelda, Tactics Ogre, Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy Tactics, Elder Scrolls, Shin Megami Tensei, and many more. In most adventure and RPG games, there are usually various places of worship that are part of the world of such games. As video games are a form of art and entertainment, religion can be very controversial in many ways. Opinions on video games differ from religion and denomination. There are religious groups that use games actively to convert people, while some games are banned for religious reasons and often condemned for such reasons. Scholars of religious studies are also studying video games. By looking at the game and to the players and their experiences with games like Journey, which is a very, very successful game. Developers use religion and spirituality to put gamers more deeply into the game. Video game developer Shigeru Miyamoto, who used to play outside as a child, uses experiences and memories of exploring the forest and discovering a Buddhist temple in the design of his video games, like Zelda, for example. Canadian developer Bioware has in its office several encyclopedias on religion as well as the Book of the Dead. The negative portrayal of religions has been criticized, though. Religious elements are used in two ways, explicit and implicit. They are seen side by side in video games and do not exclude each other. Religion in Mass Effect for instance, can be understood as an unseen character. In Mass Effect, gamers can decide to make Shepard a believer or a non-believer. Gamers often use video games to express their feelings of spirituality and existentialism. Video games as cultural objects can also provide religious and script spiritual experiences, like Journey. Developer Genova Chen said that I feel that Journey is a very spiritual game. People from around the world ask me if the game has a religious connection. Many religions share an affinity with Journey. This is because many religions partly share a common structure. Chen said that Journey is based upon Joseph Campbell's book on comparative mythology, The Hero with a Thousand Faces and The Hero's Journey narrative structure. After the death of Leonard Nimoy, Star Trek Online added two statues in his honor, and World of Warcraft added a non-player character based upon Robin Williams after his death. Developer Gearbox Software honored a late fan of Borderlands cancer victim Michael John Mamorill by adding an NPC named after him in the sequel. Additionally, Gearbox posted a eulogy to Mamorill in the voice of the game character Claptrap. For their game, Meg Warrior Online, Developer Piranha Games sold a custom in-game unit called a Jenner, honoring the daughter of a player in the game. Not to forget that after the death of Carrie Fisher, known for her role as Princess Leia in the Star Wars franchise, players of Star Wars The Old Republic gathered around of her character's statue and paid their respects. A study released by the University of Missouri stated that video games often emphasize the violent aspects of religion. Researcher Greg Peralt said, it doesn't appear that game developers are trying to purposefully bash organized religion in these games. I believe they are only using religion to create stimulating plot points in their storylines.
One of my favorite examples of video games and religion is Final Fantasy. Since playing the game series, I realized how much references to religion the franchise has made in almost every game in the series. The Final Fantasy franchise had such religious illusions, but at the same time, Nintendo of America have censored such references. In the original game, Nintendo of America turned churches into hospitals to avoid ticking off Catholics, Christians, and Protestants. However, in the Japanese version, these places and villages to revive fallen allies are churches, which could heavily imply that the world of the first Final Fantasy video game is all Christians. However, in later versions such as the PS1 remake, Game Boy Advance, and PSP, they remain as churches. And save points in almost every game have the symbol of the Star of David, which was also censored in America. The Star of David is the symbol of Judaism. The Warriors of Light fight against the four elemental fiends and then face off against Chaos. The four elemental fiends, Garland and Chaos, could be references to the four horsemen of the apocalypse, war, famine, pestilence, and death in parentheticals, the Antichrist, and Satan. Some could refer to the Warriors of Life as angels or archangels. Perhaps not. There were also other games of the franchise that made a lot of references to various Abrahamic religions and even Islam as well. Final Fantasy IV had a location called the Tower of Babel, which is a reference to the biblical Tower of Babel in the book of Genesis. Cecil renouncing his dark past to become a paladin is like baptism to fully accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. In Final Fantasy VII, Genova being a calamity from the skies is like a reference to Lucifer, who was banished from heaven, while Sephiroth is named after a plural noun in Hebrew. The singular is Sephira. The Sephiroth are described in the Kabbalah as the manifestations of God that allow him to manifest in the physical and metaphysical universes. Sephiroth also means counting. Another great example of religion in the series is Final Fantasy X, where the world of Spira is under the monarchy of the Church of Yavin. Final Fantasy X is based on the corruption of organized religion and the misuse of faith to support an evil cause. The Yevon Temple draws inspiration from many real-world religions, such as Shintoism, practices in temples, Buddhism, iconography, and ritualistic disciplines, Islam, pilgrimages, and Catholicism, hierarchical structure and rigid doctrine. Most notable influence appears to be derived from the faith of Jodo Buddhism, a branch of Buddhism centered on the doctrines and practice of Amitabha Buddha, where its founding story describes the monk Dharmakara ascending to Buddhahood and discovering the power to establish a Buddhaksetra, a realm beyond reality founded by a Buddha's own merits, naming his world the pure land and becoming Amitabha Buddha. He vowed to make his world a paradise to which all peoples of his faith can enter and transcend into Buddhahood with ease to help the rest of the world. The Church of Yevon in the game have strictly forbidden the use of advanced technological machines known as Machina, due to the fear of a great war that nearly destroyed Spira thousands of years prior to the events of the game, where a great conflict between Xanarkin and Bevel occurred. When Yuna performs ascending, the souls of the people that have died ascending to the far plane is a reference to a soul ascending into heaven after someone dies. In this game, their souls are known as Pyreflies, which is a reference to the beliefs of Gnostics that humans have a fragment of divine light inside of them. Gnostics were persecuted by the Roman Catholic Church for such beliefs. However, the Albed were more like a group of atheists and freethinkers who defied the temples of Yevon for the free use of Machina. During the first scene where Yuna walks on water is a reference to Jesus Christ walking on water to save his disciples from a storm. Titus, the main protagonist, was more of an agnostic, while Yuna was a Christ-like figure, and Riku was like the free thinker and an atheist. When Titus and the group discovered a darker side of Yevon, the faith of Yuna, Waka, and Lulu was shaken. 
The team fights a gigantic creature called Sin, which is the embodiment of all the sins of the world, and it is controlled by Yu Yevin. So, Yu Yevin could be both God and the Devil combined in a certain way. In the sequel to Final Fantasy X, Spira has become more secular, while the Yevin Church, now known as New Yevin, has somehow in a way reformed. New Yevin is at odds with the Youth League of Spira, which is comprised of former Crusaders and Chocobo Knights, which is a reference of some groups of freethinkers and believers at odds with one another. Another good example of the franchise in Final Fantasy Tactics, where the ruling religion of Ivalice is the Church of Glavados, which is another reference to the Roman Catholic Church in medieval times. The Messiah of the Glavados Church is Saint Ajara, who alludes Jesus Christ. However, there is one scene in the game where the player reads the Germanic scriptures, which tells Saint Ajora was not a Christ-like figure, but more of a false prophet and an antichrist. Germanique's betrayal of Saint Ajora to the proper authorities, exempting the more noble reasons behind the betrayal, were similar to Judas's betrayal of Jesus Christ to Pontius Pilate. The Lukavi who possess humans upon death refer to demonic possession. The Lukavi are explicitly referred to as demons, and their leader Ultima is a fallen angel like Lucifer in Christian demonology. Of course, Final Fantasy's religious illusions may or may not take Catholics, Christians, Protestants, and Muslims off, but of course, it shouldn't affect anyone, because many Christian believers would say that it's not about rules, it's not about religion, but a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. But Final Fantasy is not the only game that makes references to religion. In Mass Effect, you can decide whether Shepard is a believer of God or a non-believer. A character who believes in God is Ashley Williams. A perfect religious example in Mass Effect is the pilgrimage of the fictional race called the Quarians. When quarians of the migrant fleet reaching young adulthood, they must leave their birth ship and find a new crew to accept them as permanent residents. To prove themselves worthy, they must leave the migrant fleet and search the galaxy for something of value. This is offered to their prospective captain as a gift, proving that they will not be a mere burden on the shoestring resources of the ship. This process is called the pilgrimage, stripped of ritual the pilgrimage is merely an attempt to maintain genetic diversity within the small, relatively isolated population bases that make up the migrant fleet. If the young stayed and married within their birth vessel, the risk of inbreeding would increase sharply. The pilgrimage also gives quarians the chance to experience life outside the migrant fleet, to help them appreciate their people and culture. For many, it is their opportunity to leave, as once they return, their skills will become invaluable in preserving the Quarian race aboard the fleet. And even the Asari race have their religion known as the Atomic Doctrine, which worships their goddess. It is later revealed that Athame was not a goddess but a goddess created by the Protheans. It is named after a knife called Athame, which is used in the rituals of the Wicca religion. Illusion of Gaia also has its religious references such as the Tower of Babel at the end of the game, where Will fights Dark Gaia. According to the book of Genesis, the Tower of Babel was being built to reach God. However, God put a stop to that construction and people started speaking different languages instead of the same one. Shin Megami Tensei is also known for its use of religious and cult references. However, the game has ticked many Christians off in a certain way due to the fact that gamers can either be a god or a demon. Amongst the materials cited are its demon negotiation mechanic, depictions of suicide and cannibalism, religious criticism, its use of and mixture of Christian and occult imagery, political references, depictions of homosexuality, and its sometimes strange demon designs. However, many Christian has stated that in no certain way the Megami Tensei series offends them. Another good example of religion in video games is Silent Hill, since the antagonist of the game is not only Alasa Gillespie, but a religious cult known as The Order. And in the cancel Silent Hills, when a player gets to the picture of the murderous ghost Lisa in one part of the demo, 
the picture says, gouge it out, which is a reference to the famous saying, an eye for an eye, or as said in Matthew 5, 29, if your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Wow. Next example is the video game Life is Strange. In Life is Strange, Kate Marsh is an NPC character and she is a devout Christian. She doesn't like being the center of attention and the sad thing is that she is mocked for her beliefs and her abstinence campaign. By abstinence, it means to not have sex before getting married according to various passages in the Bible like in Hebrews 13.4 and in 1 Corinthians 7.2. However, after an incident at a Vortex Club party, she was greatly humiliated after an embarrassing video of her was uploaded online. To make matters worse, her devout aunt called her a harlot and prayed to God to save her from eternal hellfire. Using your faith to condemn friends and family for what they're innocent of proves how hateful and hypocritical you are, you can be. It's just as bad as using the same faith to justify your prejudice and bigotry against certain groups, like the LGBTQ for example. If your son or daughter, brother, sister, cousin, or friend comes out as gay, lesbian, bi, trans, or queer, and you're Christian, don't send them to conversion camps. Love them no matter what! Because conversion camps are mentally, physically, and emotionally harmful to people. Making mistakes, believer or non-believer, is called being human. And finally, there's Chrono Trigger, which has lots of religious references such as Chrono's death and resurrection. Not to forget that the battle between the mystics and the kingdom of Guardia is a reference to the Crusades. And before the Battle of Sandan Bridge, Chrono brings food to the soldiers of the kingdom, which can be a reference to Jesus Christ feeding thousands of people one of his most well-known miracles. It can also elude the Crusades due to the fight between the soldiers of Guardia and the mystics. Chrono Trigger has so many references to the story of Jesus Christ in the Bible, such as Chrono having supper, betrayed by a friend, falsely tried for a crime he did not commit by a corrupt chancellor, and his death and resurrection. Another reference to the Bible is Lavos ascending to earth during the prehistoric era. Revelations chapter 8, verses 10 to 11. Then the third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star, burning like a torch, fell from heaven and landed on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter like Wormwood oil, and many people died from the bitter waters. However, the descending of levels in the game caused the Earth to undergo a cruel ice age. Even good old Castlevania has so much references to religion since it's about the Belmonts hunting vampires and monsters. You could say that every Belmont believed in God while Dracula clearly told Richter in one of my most favorite scenes in Symphony of the Night that although he steals the souls of humans and enslave them and destroy their freedoms, Dracula said the same thing can be said of all religions. In a certain way, it's true about how religion can take away freedoms from people. Examples are religion trying to impact on legislations, infiltrating education, forcing women to marry, forcing them to cover a completely, forcing them to marry and get pregnant and adhere to traditional Christian values or Muslim values, and dedicate themselves to God or Allah. Also, when you think about how religious treated non-believers, LGBTQ and different religious views, it's due to authoritarian values and ideologies. It's tragic that so many people use their religions to force people into submission, disown people for loving someone of the same sex or both, and also deny pension benefits for being a same-sex couple in the case of Laura Hester and Stacey Andre. Watch the movie Free Help, which has a very good message about tolerance and equality. Prayers for Bobby is also a good example of how one finds redemption in faith and to remember to love friends and family no matter what. As a non-denominational person, I've grown to love people I never thought I would because my faith preaches loving one another and serving one another. 
One last example of religion in video games is The Last of Us Part 2. In one part of the game where Ellie and Dina are trekking down the WLF to avenge Joel, they enter a synagogue where Dina talks about her Jewish faith. Ellie herself is an atheist, just like Abby as well. The fanatical religious cult known as the Seraphites believe that the cordyceps infection occurred due to humanity's willingness to sin. The Seraphites live simple lives without technology and believe that homosexuality and transgenderism to be abominations. When Lev starts to identify as a male, the Seraphites try to kill him which forces him to leave as he is labeled an apostate. Abby ends up joining with Lev and Yara fighting both WLF and Seraphites. The example of Seraphites being homophobic and transphobic is an example on how in some countries ruled by religion condemn homosexuality and transgenderism and sentence these people to die for being what they are. It is an extremely sad state of affairs that such things happen up until this day. Some religious groups were outraged by references to their religion in video games. However, before video games were as relevant as they are now, the RPG board game Dungeons & Dragons received a lot of heat from fundamentalist Christian groups. Why? For alleged promotion of such practices such as devil worship, witchcraft, suicide, and murder, and for the praises of naked breasts in drawings of female humanoids in the original AD&D manuals. These controversies led TSR to remove many potentially controversial references and artwork when releasing the second edition of AD&D. Many of these references were included the use of names such as devils and demons were introduced in the third edition. The moral panic over the game led to problems for fans of Dungeons & Dragons who face social ostracism, unfair treatment, and false association with the occult and Satanism, regardless of an individual fans' actual religious affiliation and beliefs. The video game Wolfenstein 3D was banned in Germany because of the banning of the symbol of the swastika at the end of World War II in which the Allied forces fought against the Axis forces and also because many people of the Jewish religion would feel offended by that symbol. The original Legend of Zelda game had a dungeon in which a map looked like a swastika. It was called the Manji. Now, the swastika was originally a religious Sanskrit symbol used in many Eastern religions. And even the good old US of A used it before the Nazis. The word swastika has a meaning in Sanskrit. Su good, asti, to be, and ka, one soul, which means well-being of the soul. It was a religious symbol of love and peace until the day that evil man took it and turned it into a symbol of hatred, discrimination, anti-Semitism, intolerance, and bigotry. Ocarina of Time in the Nintendo 64 was considered controversial due to switches and giant blocks, pillars and flags in Gerudo Valley and other places having a crescent moon with a star, which is the symbol of Islam. The Fire Temple chant also ticked many Muslims off because of the chantings that sounded like a Muslim prayer, and you could hear the chant, Allahu Akbar, which means Allah is great. Other well-known chants in Arabic that are heard in the theme are, In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Bismillah al-Ruhim al-Rahim. There is no God but Allah, La illa illa la, and, God willing, Mushiyat Allah. In later versions of the hit games such as the GameCube, Wii, and 3DS, the chants were replaced to avoid outrage from Muslims. Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed series shows a disclaimer. Inspired by historical events and characters, this work of fiction was designed, developed, and produced by a multicultural team of various religious faiths and beliefs and gender identities. Despite efforts from some companies, there have been incidents with religious groups and video games. The German video game rating board, USK, gave the Binding of Isaac a 16 plus rating considering it blasphemous. Blasphemous is also another video game that has a lot of references to religion. And 
mainly Catholicism and also references to various Christian demonology. Assassin's Creed is not necessarily a fight between good and evil, but one between grassroots freedom in all things against a benevolent dictatorship. Now, its references to religion are like a battle between Christians and Muslims during the Crusades. In Assassin's Creed 2, there is a video clip called The Truth, in which gamers see Adam and Eve running through a scenery which contained flora and a white surface that looked like a stone until they appeared in some sort of futuristic scene and they had an artifact known as the Apple of Eden, which was used to control people's minds. In Assassin's Creed, there were various pieces of Eden which contained some kind of power that could change the whole world. Ezio, at the end of the second game in the secret area of the Vatican, he met with those who came before, such as Minerva, Juno, and Jupiter, who represented Isu. Now, some people could have been ticked off about it while, of course, didn't mind. The video game anime and trading card game series known as Pokemon was believed to be satanic by Christian groups. Christian groups also condemned Pokemon because of these fictional creatures evolving, which was a reference to Darwinian evolution, where men evolved from apes. Of course, Many would ask, if we evolved from apes, why are they still around? Scientists would answer that we came from a common ancestor. According to Richard Dawkins, a well-known scientist and outspoken atheist, we humans come and chimpanzees are cousins descended from that same common ancestor millions of years ago. Doom was also controversial due to loads of Satanism and imagery of the occult. The game was later accused of the Columbine High School Massacre in 1999, in which Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold were the perpetrators. And even Resistance Fall of Man ticked many Christians off due to the use of the Manchester Cathedral. For that, the game was condemned by the Church of England. Trigger warning of the following. Mass Effect was falsely accused by evangelical blogger Kevin McCullough of containing rape and sodomy, which later led to the removal of McCullough's blog entry on townhall.com. The game was featured on the Fox News channel following the controversy, with host Martha McCallum, which included the headline Full Graphic Sex. In actuality, the game's most explicit content is an indirect side boob shot of a humanoid alien breast. Most of these accusations kept coming, but time and again, gamers are not offended for that and have been debunked by those who are against video games. The problem with many people is that they take their faith and belief so seriously that they get very hypersensitive about it. As a non-denominational, video games do not bother me at all. I love video games and anime. If I hate a video game or an anime, it's not because of the real life references and certain controversial themes. It's because of poor quality, poor gameplay, content, and story. Sure, they can, there are moments that can make you feel uneasy, but still, it could be either good or bad. Depending on how it was written, the quality, the gameplay, the content, and the story. Pastor Matthew Hagee said that violence can end when games are banned. Time and again, religious leaders like Hagee and Pat Robertson have been debunked up, up by gamers and other bloggers as well. Video games are a form of entertainment and they do not in any way teach people how to mock God, become violent, or any other fouled up thing. Video games tend to emulate real life, history, religion, and different cultures as well. It has been scientifically proven that gamers do not become violent or sexist because of a video game, as said countless of times. And finally, to wrap this up, I'm sure that most of you have your feelings about this. Now, I gotta say that this was a really painful episode to do, and a lot of it was getting through all that thinking about the references to religion that video games make. Now, we all know how religious references, not only in video games, but in other forms of entertainment, could take some fundamentalist Christians off, as well as people of other religions. And also, many people would say that if we got rid of religion, the world will be peaceful and a better place and there will be no war. But that is just a ridiculous statement because even if religion is gone, people are always going to fight no matter what and wage war as well. Even though I'm a believer, 
I love video games. They don't bother me as I only see them as forms of art and entertainment. Nothing more. If some of you have anything to say about this episode, just remember to comment, rate, share, subscribe. I'm John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Bye-bye.